Hey there, space explorers. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to visit each planet in our solar system without an astronaut suit? Just imagine it, floating through space, experiencing the wild environments of each planet for a whole 10 seconds. Sounds thrilling, right? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a cosmic journey that's as educational as it is mind-bending. Spoiler alert, it's going to get deadly real. First up, let's start with the safest place we know Earth. Ah, good ol' well Earth, where we can breathe, eat, and enjoy our daily lives. If you were to spend 10 seconds outside here, you'd be perfectly fine. You'd feel the warmth of the sun, the breeze in your hair, and you'd have oxygen to breathe. It's the Goldilocks zone, where everything is just right. No one is trying to kill you, and there's nothing but familiar sights and sounds. So take a deep breath and soak in that glorious Earth atmosphere. You're safe here, and you might even have time to say, hey, this space exploration thing isn't so bad, but don't get too comfortable. Next, we're leaving this cozy planet behind to visit our closest neighbor, Mercury. Mercury is a tiny, rocky planet, and let me tell you, it's a real scorcher. With daytime temperatures reaching around 430 degrees Celsius, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, stepping out onto Mercury's surface would be like jumping into a fiery furnace. You might think you could handle it for 10 seconds, but let me paint a picture for you. The moment you arrive on the sunny side, your skin would begin to sizzle like bacon in a frying pan. You wouldn't even have time to shout for help. The lack of atmosphere means that you're also exposed to deadly solar radiation, which would fry your insides as well. And if you thought the sunny side was bad, the dark side of Mercury is a frozen wasteland where temperatures plummet to about minus 180 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So, whether you're boiling alive or freezing to death, you wouldn't survive more than 10 seconds. Mercury is a brutal little planet, and it doesn't mess around. Now, let's take a quick trip to our next stop, Venus. Oh, Venus. Often called Earth's twin, but don't let that fool you. If you thought Mercury was hot, buckle up because Venus is the ultimate hellscape. The temperature on Venus is around 475 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. That's right, standing on the surface of Venus would feel like being in a giant oven. But that's not all. The atmosphere here is made up of 96.5% carbon dioxide and 3.5% nitrogen with clouds of sulfuric acid swirling around. Can you imagine trying to breathe in all that? In just 10 seconds, your lungs would be filled with poison and you'd be crushed by the atmospheric pressure, which is 90 to times greater than that of Earth. In a heartbeat, you'd be roasted, suffocated, and crushed all at once. Venus is basically a giant, fiery graveyard. Next up, we have Mars, the red planet. Ah, Mars. The place everyone wants to colonize, but it's not as friendly as it seems. You might think you could survive a short visit here, but Mars has its own tricks up its sleeve. The average temperature is about minus 60 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and the atmosphere is incredibly thin, made up mostly of carbon dioxide. So, here's what happens when you step outside for 10 seconds. First, you'd feel an immediate chill as your body is exposed to freezing temperatures. But it's not just the cold that will get you. The thin atmosphere means there's not enough oxygen to breathe. Within seconds, your blood would start to boil due to the low pressure, and you'd lose consciousness in about 15 seconds. So, while you might not die immediately, you would soon be a frozen statue on Mars, and not the kind that anyone would want to visit. Now, let's turn our sights to the gas giants, starting with Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it's a whole new ballgame. The first thing to note is that Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface, so when you try to step outside, you're basically falling into a swirling mass of gas. The atmosphere is made primarily of hydrogen and helium, and the storms here are legendary. You'd be plummeting through the atmosphere, surrounded by raging winds that can reach speeds of over 500 kilometers per hour, about 300 miles per hour. 
Not only that, but the pressure would crush you in seconds. The gravity here is 2.5 times that of Earth, meaning you'd feel heavier than ever before. In just 10 seconds, you'd be ripped apart by the storm, crushed by the pressure, and suffocated by the lack of oxygen. Jupiter is a place that doesn't hold back. Now, let's glide over to Saturn, the planet known for its stunning rings. But don't let the beauty fool you Saturn is another gas giant, and stepping outside here is just as dangerous. Like Jupiter, there's no solid surface, so you'd be falling through an atmosphere filled with hydrogen and helium. As you descend, you'd encounter extreme cold, with temperatures around minus 178 degrees Celsius to 188 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd freeze solid faster than you could say I should have brought a jacket. But it doesn't end there, the intense pressure would crush you as you fall deeper into the planet's atmosphere. Saturn may look beautiful from afar, but up close. It's a chilling experience. Now, let's move on to Uranus, the ice giant. Uranus is a bizarre planet, and if you think you've seen it all, wait until you hear about this one. With an average temperature of around minus 124 degrees Celsius, 371 degrees Fahrenheit, Uranus is one of the coldest places in the solar system. If you were to venture outside for 10 seconds, you'd instantly feel the biting cold. The atmosphere here is mostly hydrogen and helium, but it's also filled with icy methane. And guess what? Uranus rotates on its side. This means you're not only freezing, but you're also being buffeted by winds that can reach up to 900 kilometers per hour, about 560 miles per hour. You'd be blasted by icy winds while your body freezes solid in a matter of seconds. Not a great vacation spot? Now, let's venture to the farthest planet from the sun, Neptune. Neptune is a mysterious world filled with dark storms and powerful winds. The temperature here averages around minus 114 degrees Celsius, 353 degrees Fahrenheit, making it even colder than Uranus. But the real kicker, Neptune has winds that can reach an astonishing 2,100 kilometers per hour, about 1,300 miles per hour. If you were to step outside for just 10 seconds, you'd be hurled around by these violent winds, freezing and suffocating as you're battered by the storm. Neptune is dark, cold, and unforgiving, definitely not the kind of place you want to visit unprotected. Now, let's not forget about our favorite dwarf planet, Pluto. Although it's not classified as a full planet anymore, Pluto still has its own set of dangers. With temperatures that can drop to around minus 140 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, stepping outside for 10 seconds would mean you're in for an instant freeze. While the landscape is icy and rocky, there's no atmosphere to protect you from the frigid temperatures. You'd quickly turn into a human popsicle, frozen solid before you even knew what hit you. But at least Pluto is quiet, far away, and peaceful if you can ignore the bone-chilling cold. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. The most dangerous planet in our solar system is Venus. Yes, you heard me right. Venus is the ultimate nightmare, with temperatures that would incinerate you and an atmosphere that would crush and poison you in mere seconds. So there you have it, space explorers. We've journeyed through the solar system, visited each planet, and discovered what happens when you step outside without a space suit. From the cozy familiarity of Earth to the fiery depths of Venus, we've seen that the cosmos is a beautiful but deadly place. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride through the solar system. Remember, while it's fun to imagine what it would be like to explore these distant worlds, the reality is that space is incredibly hostile. So keep your astronaut suit on and maybe stick to exploring the universe from the comfort of your living room. See you next time.